Mega Maniacs, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan, and since it is Mega May, I will unbox this Mega Man Pop, this 8-bit retro style pop today. But it is also a mail call day, so that's going to be the main event. But we're going to start first with a couple of packages that just arrived and see what is inside of them that I can add to Mr. Mega Man Fan's collection. As always, thank you to my... 850 plus subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're not already a Mega Maniac, you can become one by clicking on that subscribe button. And of course, your likes and comments are always appreciated. Thank you very much for engaging with me right here on this channel. Let's see what we got in this first package. It is R-Type Dimensions X. And this was released by Strictly Limited Games. This is the first thing I have ever bought from Strictly Limited. I'm usually an LRG kind of guy, but for an R-Type game, I thought I would break out of the mold a little bit. Although this one took a while to get here because unlike limited run games, they are based in Europe. So good things come to those who wait, I guess. Speaking of which, let's see what we got in this package. Once I get it out of the mailing envelope, we have the Data East Classic Collection for Super Nintendo, complete in box, and this was only 15 bucks. Sticker and button pin set. It comes with five games, and the only one of the five I have is Side Pocket, and two of them were never released outside of Japan. Fighters History 2 and Magical Drop 2. So, pretty good value for 15 bucks because I believe any one of these games alone with the exception of Side Pocket would sell for more than that and two of them together definitely would. So, to get this collection all for 15 bucks, free shipping, kind of hard to beat. But now, as promised, we will move on to the main event this pop that appropriately enough I got from Pop Culture. And it's a previously owned pop, so no seals to break here. It's already been opened at least once, which is certainly helpful. Speeds things up a little bit. Just gotta get these plastic holders out. And there we have it. It's like the Mega Man Pops, except done in 8-bit form, pixelated and squared off. And I think it looks quite nice. You can see the manufacturer's stamp there on the feet. And you can see the Mega Buster in its pixelated form. And appropriately, uh, you can hear my cat Tango bitching at me in the background, even though they have never made a pop of Tango pixelated or otherwise. I'm Mr. McMahon Fan, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.